How the internet works. When we think of the internet, we usually think of content. Work emails, cat videos, Instagram photos, and stock trades. But that content needs infrastructure to get it from point A to point B, just like the way information travels to your TV or telephone. Let's say you're sitting at home and decide to send an email to a friend. Your computer connects to the router in your home, which then connects to a modem. Once it leaves your home, the email travels over cables to your internet service provider, or ISP. You might use a service provider like Comcast, Verizon, or Time Warner. Then when you use a service like Gmail, building where the two networks physically connect to each other. From there, it goes to one of Google's data centers, where the company stores your data for retrieval. So to recap, peering sites connect networks to one another, making the web a physical reality. Data centers store your information in the cloud, so you can access it when and where. So when you check your email in California, you could be connecting through a peering site in Amsterdam to a data center in Germany. But those connections are so fast, you barely notice. But there's more. Peering sites and data centers connect using large, buried fiber optic cables. The largest fiber optic cables carry internet access to an entire region or even an entire country. When they reach water, those buried cables become submarine cables. They connect countries and continents to one another from thousands of feet beneath the ocean. And all of this infrastructure is impressive, sure, but it's also vulnerable. Scientists predict that climate change will make storms both more frequent and stronger. We're also seeing a rapid rise in sea levels, especially along the East Coast. These changes could have an effect on the functionality of the internet. What happens when a big storm knocks out internet access to a neighborhood or a whole city? Or when sea level rise threatens a major data center? How will climate change affect the internet? To find out, go to thegroundtruthproject.org.